In this video, I have another quick tip for Avid Media Composer, and in this video, we're going to learn how to show our waveforms on our audio tracks here. So when you're editing, sometimes it can be very useful to be able to see your audio waveforms. So if you're making an edit, it can really be a lot easier to actually see that audio that lies underneath your clip. So the first way we can do this, we'll come down here to our fast menu, our little hamburger, just click it, come up here to audio data, and right now it's on none. Now we can set this to waveform, clip gain, volume. We're going to choose waveform. And there we go, there are our waveforms. And now we can really look in there and see exactly where we're editing and make sure we're cutting our video with our audio just right. Okay, now we do have another option. We can come up here to this little sideways triangle, which is our track control panel. Let's click that, and now we can see many more options we have for our tracks. Now you can see this waveform icon here. When I click it right now, it's it's not doing anything. We can click our little drop down here and choose, say, clip gain, volume, and things like that. Put that back to none. But our waveform icon doesn't work. So to make those work, let's come back to our fast menu, come here to audio data, and we'll set this to none. Now, as long as, let's come back here one more time, audio data, and now as long as we have this checked, allow per track settings, now, whenever we click on our waveform icon, boom, we can show just the waveforms that we want. This can be useful for maybe your video card can't keep up with drawing all of the waveforms, so you just want to show some of them. You can do that as long as that allow per track settings is checked, okay? Now, if I were to uncheck that, I'll show you. Now we don't get anything, even though I have these turned on, it's not doing anything. So those are your two options. Just come down to your fast menu, audio data, we can choose waveform. That'll show up for everything. If we just want some of the waveforms, we'll just set this to none and make sure our allow per track settings is checked. And now we can turn on and off our audio waveforms on a per track basis. All right. I personally like to have all of them on. There we go. All right, so that is how to show your waveforms in Avid Media Composer.